Channel North News is proudly brought to you by the Northern Advocate. And in the news, Northern Advocate reporter Joseph Aldridge was right in the middle of things when the 6.0 scale aftershock hit Christchurch. He was near the blocked off red zone when the big of yesterday's two shocks hit and later had to negotiate flooded eastern suburb streets made even more impassable by liquefaction. We join with uh, Joseph now via telephone. Joseph, thanks for joining us. Now, whereabouts were you when the earthquake struck? Um, well, the, uh, the first one I was... I was in uh, someone's house. Um, that was a 5.5 at one o'clock, um, and the, all the drawers and everything um, kind of opened up and made a bit of a rattle and a shake. Uh, we ran for the door, but it it stopped, and um, and so we sat back down. And that, that that one was all right. I thought that I'd had a bit of an experience, and um, and and uh, was quite pleased about it. Uh, but the six, the six um, one that hit later. I was in. Um, I was driving downtown. I was actually doing a bit of, I guess, earthquake tourism, uh, skirting around the edges of the red zone just to have a look. It's the first time I've uh, been back in Christchurch since the February quake, and I was stalled in traffic just right outside the art gallery when the earthquake, the big one, hit. And um, I can just remember the car rocking up and down, and seeing the art gallery rolling side to side, and and the buildings behind it uh, swaying violently as well. Can you recall how long it took before emergency services arrived? Well, they were. Um, the, the interesting thing was that they were in the in the art gallery at the time, and I saw them um, straight away um, pick up their stuff as soon as the quake kind of settled down. They picked up their stuff and um, and got straight out of the building and into their vehicle and headed straight towards the CBD. Can you describe to us, Joseph, how it felt being in the middle of the Christchurch earthquake? It was, um, especially in the in the most violent seconds, I wasn't even having thoughts. I can't even uh, remember what my first thought was, but um, it, it lasted a long time. And uh, afterwards, the, the ground kept rolling for a long time. It, at the end, it, was, it wasn't violent, but it just kept rolling like a wave for a long time. And I guess at the, first, the first time I was consciously thinking was that this is going on for a long time and, it's, and we're still swaying back and forth. And I started looking around at, at poles and houses and buildings still shaking side to side. Um, it just seemed to last a long time. From your opinion, Joseph, do you think that Christchurch will ever get back on its feet? Well, I, yeah, I think so. I mean, the incredible thing was that amazed me was how quickly uh, people resumed normal life. Yesterday, um, they were, I mean, within a couple of minutes of the quake, uh, the traffic eased up and we were able to keep on moving. And I saw um, workmen still going about their business and diggers were digging as they were before the quake and uh, people were walking in the park. And I don't know, I just felt like uh, people got back to what they were doing, they have adjusted somehow. Um, but it was later when I got over to the east side of the city that I saw a lot more liquefaction damage, and that's going to be hard for people uh, to, to pick up and, and clean up again. From the Northern Advocate, Joseph Aldridge. Thank you.